And we are underway, the Portland Timbers and Minnesota United, the first match for the home team in the 2016 Simple Invitational. Ben Spees. Still Ben Spees into the box. Kawarase has to make a save with his foot, and it's out for a corner kick. First of the match, it'll be to Minnesota. He's a bit of a bully as well. Doesn't mind going in for a challenge. Doesn't mind leaving a foot in, which I think you need sometimes. A little bit of that nastiness. Might have to do some defending here as that came off of Borchers. And Kawarase gobbled it up. Lynn played the previous five in Houston. Fernando Adi at a back heel to Valeri. Might end up with Valeri. He goes down. And it'll be a penalty kick for the Portland Timbers in the 11th minute. There's a little argument from the Minnesota United FC players because as that ball drops to Valeri, he does get the touch, and it's reckless by the captain of Minnesota United FC. In the middle of last season, he's three for three in the regular season. And Adi gets unjacked the wrong way and opens the scoring for the Timbers in the 2016 Simple Invitational. A 1-0 lead in the 11th minute. Justin Ibsen and Jordan for Minnesota United. They're going to be the, the ones who sit in that midfield, protecting that back four, and we'll need it here. Milano has room on the left side. Bit of a heavy touch, stays with it. Lucas Milano to the byline, tried to cut it back, and Undrak covered with a spree lurking on the back post. Successful professional careers. Lang will send the corner into the box. Flying scissor kick attempt is blocked. One of the big signings for Minnesota in the offseason. Ben Spies, another one of the big signings into the box. Timbers again with a chance to counter with speed, and they have numbers. Milano tried to find Valeri. Spies cut it off. Milano almost got it back. It'll be all about pace and that fitness because they've had two months of preseason before their first regular season game. So you can't come out the block flying because two months is a long time to go, Jake. Space for Danny Cruz. Cuts it back to Ebsen, drives it from the top of the box. Best opportunity I think Minnesota has had today. Ebsen couldn't put it on frame. Diego Chara with being like a big brother for him to help him through the transition. Milano back heels to Valentin. Looking for Adi. Lays it off for Valeri. Out wide to Espria. Great build up from the Timbers. Milano save. Second chance. Put in. 2 0 Timbers. How he gets himself back on side. As it pops out, just watch how he gets himself back into that line and his body's facing forward, ready to attack the ball. And it's an early pass into the space. That's horrible for defenders. And Milano gets two cracks at it. Milano. Valeri, Adi, back to Valeri, Aspria, a chance for a third, Unjock makes the save. Still there in the box for the Timbers, Milano into the arms of Unjock. The pressure continues. They've dropped when there's been a pass on from the midfield of Minnesota. Adi blows by Calvano, Adi in the box, saved by Unjock. Saw a pass, but couldn't, couldn't deliver it. Venegas overlapping. Now Venegas to the byline. Dangerous ball in. It was deflected by Taylor. He's got pace. Venegas, he's not afraid to get forward. Valeri goes down. Calvano will be shown the first card of this match, and it is red. Ismail Elfat went right to the front pocket and has sent off Tiago Calvano. Physio to come on. As that ball comes in, Calvano, he's going through the back of Valeri. I don't think that's a sending off. Venegas again gets by Valentin. Taylor got it clear. And that's it for the first half. 45 minutes that I think Caleb Porter will be very pleased with. Back to Daniel Mendez. Ibsen on your. Ibsen, 
Now Mendez, he has a chance to shoot. And Kalarase has to parry it over the bar. Down a man, but that's the best Minnesota has looked today. Drives it in. A great chance for Brent Coleman, who put it just wide. Upon and as he makes his recovery run, but he just gets away from his mark, not Borges. His first touch, Valeri was under his feet. He couldn't set himself and pick a spot. It was Chris Ritter sliding back to block the shot. Valeri threw to Nagby. What a ball! Nagby rounds Unjock, and it's the third for the Timbers. Valeri and Nagby combine for a beauty. 3 0. that Simmers work this space in and around at side area. There's plenty of Minnesota players about. There's very little space for the Simmers to get into. Nagby flicks it into the body of Adi. Holds off Ritter. Finds Valeri. Wide to Espria. Dyrona Espria saved again by Unjock. A ton of power. Unjock's hands are going to be stinging after this match tonight. Chara gets it back to Valeri at the byline. Cuts it back. Still Valeri tried to pick out Espria on the ground. And a red card shown. Again, a Minnesota United player taking out Diego Valeri. We're going to have another penalty kick. And Minnesota is going to be down to nine men. It's a heavy touch by Valeri that takes it away. And it's a definite red card because it's not only is it studs up, it's two feet. Why is Venegas going in? As such, it's reckless. That could be a leg breaker. Tonight, now Valeri. And it's four for the Timbers. He's suffered some blows tonight. And now he gets on the score sheet. And it is a route at Providence Park. I imagine for a player like that, just staying uh, sharp staying, putting the ball in the back of the net is, is so important. In a preseason, as Vincent Chenti almost chips at him, Kawarase, I think, took the Timbers keeper off guard. It's the training, knew about it, whether he was trying to just stand the ball up in for a cross or try to catch Kawarase off guard. Now Valeri Unjock makes the save and holds on to it. Strong hands from the Minnesota keeper. He's got his positioning right, and he works his feet well. On his toes, he doesn't try and cheat, doesn't try to guess. They just have always looked safe for me in preseason, and that's carried on into tonight. And that's it. No stoppage time needed. Ismail Elfath blows the final whistle as the Portland Timbers get a dominant 4 nothing win over Minnesota United in their opening match of the Simple Invitational. The bigger point for me was when we conceded the first goal, which was poor. Well, obviously we gave a penalty away. Um, only about 11, 12 minutes into the game, we stopped doing what we'd been doing. You know, we made an error, we give a penalty, but then it was Oh, do whatever we want to do and, and failed to stick to the game plan. In that first 10 minutes, we'd created a couple of half chances and I thought, well, we've got a game here, we look pretty, pretty lively. But after that penalty kick went in, then it was like, you know, too many blokes decided that it was up to them to do whatever they fancied and throw the game plan out the window. So, so all in all, I would sum it up by saying we ended up where we were because of a lack of discipline. Simple as that. Not because they can't play football. Lack of discipline. And we've got to work at that, obviously. Simple as that.